Here to continue talking about the remainder of the rep season is Ronald Allen Lindblom. Thanks for sticking around. You bet. Arthur Schnitzler's Laronde is your second play. Mm -hmm. It was originally banned from production for many years because of its shocking sexual content. <laughs> Do you think Laurent still has the power to shock audiences today? Oh, I don't know if it shocks audience. It's certainly still provocative. It's, it's a wonderful character study. Um, I think the sensibilities of 2010 have probably tamed it since its you know, <laughs> premiere in 1903. But it's, a, it's an interesting character study. It follows the journey, and it, yeah, it still addresses our fascination with sex and um, relationships and how those, how those relationships mature and change over the years. The circular structure was particularly interesting to me. Can you talk about that? Well, I think that's what's really interesting about the play. It, you know, it, it, it is that kind of beginning, middle, and an end. It mm -hmm. is that kind of life cycle. It parallel, it, that's the metaphor for it. Um, and I think it, it, it serves these interesting little vignettes up um, that offer these slice of life, life scenarios as people progress throughout their lives and their relationships and how, how sex changes from the time that you're a young person to middle age through, um, through the time you're a senior. Uh, Martin McDonough's The Lonesome West is mm -hmm. your next play. It isn't as widely produced as some of his other works. What attracted you to this play? I'm attracted to this playwright. Um, this is actually the last play in his trilogy. Um, it's very dark. It's very funny. It's, um, you know, it deals with uh, two brothers on the west coast of Ireland and a small town priest who's trying to repair this relationship that's as broken as their, you know, their collection of saint figurines. Um, um, but I, I've always been, uh, I've been particularly interested in this playwright. Uh, he recently just closed on Broadway with uh, the Christopher Walken production of uh, Be Handing in Spokane. And um, he's a young, you know, he's a 40-year-old playwright who's um, written some really interesting things. You closed the season with a world premiere by Amy Hartman, mm -hmm. Mercy and the Firefly. How did you discover the play? Actually, um, Amy, Amy brought me the idea a few years ago, said, I'm, I've got this idea for this play. And it's been through several revisions. There is a... Um, there was, there's been a reading of it, um, and I like Amy's work. Amy's got a unique voice. She's got, a, I, I believe, a Pittsburgh voice, and um, I, I think the story is fascinating. So um, after two years of working on and off of this, we're going to premiere it this, this season. Will the playwright be involved in the rehearsal process? Oh, yes. That's great. Yep. And all three of your final plays are being directed by women. Mm -hmm. Did you pick the plays with specific directors in mind? Yes. You, um, you know, when you're putting projects together, it's, it's, a lot of it is about chemistry. It's about who has the right voice, what's the combination to deliver this product. If you look at our season in the rep this year, I think there's, there's a theme that runs through all of these plays, and the theme happens to be about redemption and forgiveness and, at some level in, in, each, of these, in each of these works. And, um, Given the way things are in the world right now, I think that's a couple of good topics to examine this year is <laughs> redemption and forgiveness. And yeah, the women, 75% um, of, the, of the season is directed by women. And I think that uh, it brings, besides them being first-rate directors, each one of them, um, there's, there's a certain voice, there's a certain perception that you're going to get um, in relationship to interpreting that work. Are any woman. of the directors Pittsburgh directors? Yes, um, they all are. Um, Melissa Martin, um, she's really uh, she's a wonderful film director as well as a stage director. Um, uh, Kim Martin is um, one of our is on our staff um, at the Playhouse. Um, she her most recent production with us was Mojo, that was a big hit. And uh, Robin Walsh um, is one of the leading actresses and directors in in Pittsburgh. Is also on the faculty at Point Park. Wonderful. Best of luck with your season. Thank you. Subscriptions to the Rep 2010-2011 season can be purchased by calling 412-621-4445. For more information, visit them on the web at pittsburghplayhouse.com. Thanks so much, Ron. Thank you.
thank you for joining us tonight. Some other fall events include the Pittsburgh New Works Festival, presenting three new plays each weekend, running September 9th through October 3rd. Bricolage has Midnight Radio, Episode 4, Dark Side of the House, September 23rd to 25th. And Pittsburgh Shakespeare in the Parks is performing Much Ado About Nothing, September 4th through 26th. If you have a theater production you would like Theater Talk to cover, email me at pittsburghtheatertalk at gmail.com. For more Theater Talk information, visit us on Facebook, Pittsburgh Theater Talk. Thank you for watching.